Today we're going to talk about making herbal infusions in coconut oil in the sun. So this is coconut oil that I left out in the sun in a glass jar with eucalyptus leaf, munya leaf and wild sage leaf all dried. So it's better to use dry herbs because they more readily infuse their essential oils into the medium which you're using whether it is coconut oil, whether you're making a tea with water. And so this coconut oil is edible. It's actually very healthy. It's full of saturated fat, which repairs damaged skin, which repairs sunburnt skin. And so does the sun cause cancer? Or is it the petrochemicals that we put on top of our skin that react with the sun or that don't even have to react with the sun that cause cancer? So sunscreen, would you eat it? I wouldn't. The, the chemical sunscreen that's made of uh, benzene and other petrochemicals. This is something that they say you shouldn't eat it, but apparently you should put it on your skin. And so what you put on your skin absorbs into your body. It goes into your body. So if you're bathing with tap water that contains fluoride and chlorine and all these other chemicals that they use to treat the water, this eventually goes into your skin. And then when it reacts with the sun, this can potentially cause cancer. Whoever made this reality, would they make it so that animals or us humans that came from the earth get cancer from the thing that gives life to the earth? The sun gives life to plants, gives life to animals. If these plants weren't here, I wouldn't be here. No one would be here. And so we need to we need to be a little bit more aware of what it is that is causing illness. And speaking of cancer, you can use you can try using cannabis. A lot of people are into using cannabis as an alternative cancer treatment. And I would highly recommend consuming it, like eating it instead of smoking it. So this is for a few reasons. The smoke goes into your lungs. It's full of carbon monoxide, other things that really don't help you uh, heal. And in the end, what we can do is we can put the crushed cannabis flower into coconut oil, like I did with these herbs, and let it infuse in the sun. And it's potentially better to use low temperature extracts. So like an, an extract made through only the heat of the sun. Because they say that THC and CBD, which are two of the main medicinal components of cannabis, that these before you heat them up are called THCA and CBDA, THC acid and CBD acid. And they say that the THCA and CBDA are more anti-inflammatory. So you can look at laboratory spectrometry where they look at the anti-inflammatory properties of THC compared to THCA, CBD compared to CBDA. And they show that the acid form before it's heated up is more anti-inflammatory and potentially has higher quality medicinal properties. And so you can put your THC extract or your cannabis extract, I should say, with the THC and the CBD and the other terpenes and essential oils from the cannabis flower. You can put it into edibles. You can eat the coconut oil just like this. Uh, you can give it to cancer patients. If you have family members and you want to try something alternative, this is potentially a good idea. If you're open to it, right? Everything is in our minds as well. So we need to be very aware of everything. This is all I have for today, guys. Have a good day.